okay so welcome to part two in this what we'll do is uh, and previously if you remember what we did was we simply filled the grid view let me run one more time okay <coughs> uh, let me run my code as you can see what I did in my previous video was pretty simple right I filled the grid view uh, using a data set everything got f filled up automatically if you check the code behind what I did was <coughs> and the page load I filled the grid view with a method called as load, load grid view and the load grid does nothing simply executes a query fills the data set and returns the data set and that was it right and then we talked about like how this page behaves how this grid view gets automatically binded when you say auto generate column is equal to true grid view is that smart enough so he knows like what type of columns it is coming from the data set. he reads automatically and renders the stuff for us automatically when you when, when you say auto generate columns is equal to false <coughs> Now grid was not capable. I mean, capable of thinking. Now, if you go and refresh, most probably it will not work because now grid doesn't know anything what goes inside. When you say auto generate column is equal to false, you're trying to control the grid from your side. I mean, like you want to control the grid, not the grid view. So <coughs> let's check. I mean, open a project uh, view, server explorer. As you can see, I got three columns, three to four columns. I got right. One, two, three, four let's imagine there are four labels and I want to display them so what I'll do is there's a thing called as a template column first of all I want to add few columns right I'll show you I mean like first how it works I mean there will be plenty if and else in your mind right now just watch it and you'll get the idea then I'll add <coughs> I mean template field then in template field I'll have a uh, template field has a beauty it has a header header text header text header text field where I can specify I like this guy to be ID okay inside of this I can add an item template item style no it is item template item template <coughs> inside of an item template I'll add uh, let's say uh, ASP colon label then I'll say ID is equal to LBL ID then I'll say run it equal to server and then I'll say text is equal to something like this this is a little weird but don't worry then I'll say percent I'll say hash then I'll say eval and I'll say <coughs> I'll say ID let me check project view server explorer what is that ID small ID sorry it's a small ID so ID okay and now what I'll do is I'll try to run this thing okay let's see what if what I'm getting through this right <coughs> I'll go here and I'll refresh my page and as you can see I get the ID so what exactly happened when I say template field and inside of which I said template field when I said template field I mean basically what I'm trying to do is I'm adding a column right now as you can see in my browser I added a column inside of which I said I want a template field whose header text will be an ID like we discussed in previous video I like to have my own controls I have like to have my own things right now it is item template ASP label as you can see I have my label what if I like to change this guy as let's say a text box why not I think something height <coughs> not a height I'll say this guy is txt ID okay and let's keep the same thing and let's run it okay let's if I whoops what happened okay it was expecting the end as to be a text box but I said okay copy and simply paste now let's hit F5 <coughs> so as you can see now within the one column I got one label and I got one text box so you see how cool is that right I'm mean, you getting plenty of control so we'll be keeping this guy uh, delete we don't require this guy so far so now so what I'll do is now I'll copy paste this template field this is for ID this for first name this for last name and this for salary now let me go quickly and update these guys okay so I'll say LBL ID instead of that I'll say LBL first name and over here it would be a lowercase first name 
this guy would be LBL last name and last name <coughs> again this guy would be LBL salary and this guy would be again uh, salary am I right salary I'm sorry <coughs> let's copy this guy copy stick in the header last name change the header text as last name and the first name as first name right now let's hit control kd and now for the sake of simplicity if you go and check the design view you can see this is what how it represents now if we go into the grid view and we refresh the grid okay so this is the exact output which we saw last time grid view generated automatically but here's the power I mean here's you can control the things I tell you how I give an example <coughs> mm, okay this is a template field right what can I do is in this I'll add one more template field okay and what I'll do is ASP colon template field inside of that I'll add ASP I'm sorry uh, item item template why in the blue I'm not getting this crap okay so I got ASP item template I can have any control which I desire in my grid I'll say btn submit I'll say text is equal to mm, check balance let's say check balance I'll keep like this then I'll close the tag control KD and let's hit refresh and as you can see <coughs> whoops I don't get the button why is that item template button check balance interesting okay 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 I am forgot to say run at equal to server control KD let's hit refresh yes now when I say run at equal to server I get automatically a button now this is a button I can control the functionality the way I want anything right <coughs> so I'm getting the control I can customizing I'm customizing my grid the way I want I can add an image as well whatever I desire I can add in the template field right so that is all right so we don't need a button let's go back let's hit refresh recent and my grid is came back to normal so now now let's come to the point this part was done add a template field is done we have added the item template but we haven't added the footer template so let's add a footer template so in case of an ID imagine a structure below this ID you don't need any uh, what can I say uh, text box because ID is auto generated we need a text box for this guy this guy and this guy first name last name and for this thing right so what we'll do is we'll create a footer template okay inside of this we'll add a text box ASP colon text box ID is equal to txt first name blah 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 then we'll say run at equal to server okay control KD now let me copy this guy wrap 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 then we'll add it for the last name control V control KD let me call this guy LVL last name and in the end in case of salary control KD and I'll say txt salary right and let me refresh <coughs> okay one is a problem you need to go to design mode you need to select this guy say f4 and then you need to configure a property of grid view and the property is come on mouse you are acting really weird one second okay got it now here there is a property called as footer show footer footer style no 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 show footer show footer is false by default but I'm gonna make it true as soon as I make it true one second as soon as I make it true you can see there's a text box automatically given right so we are happy now so this is we kind of expecting and the ID at ID what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a button down there so I'll copy this guy just copy simply paste and over here we're going to say add button <coughs> come on drop it 
ESP button, copy this, paste it, stay happy, BTN, okay, insert, let's say insert, and we'll call the text as insert, right? Control KD, let's check the grid view. Refresh, and as you can see, we got button, we got text box, we got plenty of stuff going on right now all i need to do is i when i click this guy insert button it should add a record and update my grid view so let's do that i have five minutes left right so before i do that i need to configure this button right what i want to say is there are two properties uh, please remember called as command name and command argument very important properties right now i'll call this guy as a insert uh, insert emp right now i'll just call it a command name as a insert emp so this is a command name okay and it has a name called as this guy fine now let's go back to the plan as you can see this guy this part is done our UI part is completely ready <coughs> handle the row com command mm, to insert a row in the database now if you check uh, my grid view again the design mode come on F4 and I cannot control what okay got it now what I want here is to do whoops source then button design there's a section called as events if you can see this when I click on this I see there is a command called as a row command double click on that when you double click on that it generates a kind of an event for you so let's check that yeah kind of generated an event for me F7 so let's see no it didn't generate one second let me stop my design project let me go to design again let me catch this guy let me get the properties let's go up and go to events and row command let's delete this guy and let's regenerate this guy now as you can see I have the row command right now at this moment what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply check I'm gonna simply check the command name if e dot command name is equal to control V insert EMP was my command name right if I find the command name like this I need to take some action right and what would be that action control KD the action would be I think I'm not gonna I won't be able to complete this video again because I'm running out of time but let's let's see uh, how far we can go so as you can see the UI I got my text box I got my insert button but when I click the insert button it should come here right A row command and I should do some action so in order to do action the next plan would be what would be my next plan if I want to insert a record in my database right first of all I need to capture these values from these text box right once I capture the values from these text box and uh, it's from a grid view right so there's a technique to uh, you know to find a control inside a grid view once you find the uh, values you collect those values and then you simply use our SQL technique adapter or SQL command using that you can insert a record and after simply adding a record it gets updated into the database and we simply come down here and simply update our grid view so you guys can see the whole updated structure so I mean within a grid view you can do a lot right so most of my time is I'm running out of time so I think I'm gonna make a part 3 of this so stay tuned for the third part okay thanks a lot